We doing it? We're doing it. Hey everybody, it's Chef Mike again from Green and Earth Burger, and it's cold outside here in Texas. It's a freezing 52 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so we're going to make some comfort food today. going to make some warm stuff. We're going to be making some biscuits and gravy, and uh, we just got a shot of some biscuits. Didn't homemade. These aren't homemade ones, but just got some shot of it, some canned biscuits that uh, we're going to be making for this recipe just to make it quick and easy. A lot of the canned biscuits you got out there are... Uh, are vegan if you just check the label and everything. Uh, we're also gonna, so we're gonna be making biscuits and sausage gravy. We're also gonna be making a uh, chicken and dumplings, which is uh, one of my favorite dishes from my childhood. And then we're also gonna be making a chicken pot pie. So I got all my pans getting warm here. We're gonna get three pots going at a time. And let's get started. Um, get a little bit of olive oil in all of these. Remember our what I always say about cooking, you want a hot pan, then hot oil, then you put your ingredients in. So I'm going to let those pans get, they're all getting warm. And we're going to start off in this pan right here. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to start off in this pan right here with some onions and celery. That's pretty much the only vegetable you're going to put in this uh, pot pie. I mean, I'm sorry, in the chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings get onions and celery. And then we're, the pot pie is going to get everything else. So I'm going to get my onion in there. Get enough to put our chicken and dumplings. Should be sizzling, but it's not. All right, and uh, we're going to get some celery going in there. chicken in there. It's very important that you use the teriyaki chicken strips from, no, just disregard the teriyaki sauce or put it back in the freezer, but these are the Gardein teriyaki strips. And I just took the sauce out and put them in the freezer, use them for something else. Got our teriyaki chicken strips in there. Alright, got a little sizzling there. Got a hot pan here. Over here we're going to work on our um, Onions, potato, celery, onion, carrot for our chicken pot pie. There we go. Peel these carrots too. Season this up with some salt. Good black pepper. I'm 
can get some onions going over there in our sausage gravy pan. Put these uh, Beyond Meat beefless crumbles, beef crumbles, and uh, that's going to be the basis of our sausage gravy. Got those biscuits in the oven right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there too. Chop up some fresh sage for our um, sausage gravy over there. potato to that. Oh, I've got some, these are Gardein chicken breast. I'm going to cube that up. I've already just uh, thawed them out a little bit. Cube them up and that's going to go in our chicken pot pie. And I've got some corn and green beans here. I know it's supposed to go with peas, but I didn't have any, so going to be flexible. All right, and then we're going to get our potato in there. It's not going to cook a long time, so we want to get these kind of small. This is one little Idaho potato there. I need to rust it. Um, sounds like my biscuits are ready out of the oven. Nutritional yeast in this. Our 
дела. Get some water. Okay. This is for our chicken and dumplings. Get some more water. Got our chicken dumplings cooking there. Get enough water in here, we want just barely to cover up the vegetables because this is going to be our chicken pot pie. We don't want it to be a soup or anything, so. But we need those potatoes and everything to cook. We're going to actually cook this in the oven in this pot, so. Uh, with our crust on it and everything, so. I'm going to check that now for um, salt. This will be our last opportunity to season it. So, same thing on the chicken and dumplings. We want to check that for salt. Get our sausage. We want our sausage browning up there. Our onions. We want to check the seasoning on our. That needs salt, and that needs nutritional yeast. We want that liquid to be nice and flavorful because we're going to be uh, putting those dumplings in there and that broth is going to get on the side of them and give them a nice flavor. So. Alright. That should be there. Now we're going to let this come up to a boil. We're going to work on our sausage gravy a little bit. Let me get a plate for us. Hold on. Biscuits open up here. And I'm going to put a little bit of flour in here. Make a little roux. I'm going to want that flour to get toasted in with all the onions and the fat that's in that margarine. Flour is what's going to thicken up the gravy. Okay, now we've got a little bit of, I've got a little unsweetened coconut milk here. That's going to need to come to a boil, get nice and thick, and that'll be ready for our biscuits. Chicken and dumplings cooking away. Oh, this is our, I'm sorry, our pot pie. I want those to get a little bit tender. We're going to work on our crust in a minute. Here's our chicken and dumpling broth. It's going to come together once an onion and celery starts cooking up. It'll be real nice. You can see our gravy getting thick now. Just a little bit longer there. Just like my grandma used to make it. Minus the pork sausage and the lard to make the roux and the real milk. But, same technique there. This is yummy stuff. I'm gonna check my salt on that as well. you have a two to one gravy to biscuit ratio. There it is, that's your uh, cream gravy and country biscuits there, a little bit of sausage, good stuff. That's a good dish for when it's 
cold outside like today. Now we'll start working on some dough. Alright. What I've got here is some self rising flour, and I use the uh, King Arthur's self rising flour. That just makes it, I mean, it just has a little bit of salt in there already, has the baking soda and uh, baking powder in there and just kind of does the, the ratios for you. You could make biscuits with this, you could use it for pancakes. We're going to use it for two different applications today. We're going to, this is where a lot of the fat, don't panic, there's a lot, this is going to two recipes and this is where a lot of the fat from this recipe is coming from, is from these crusts. And if you make a low fat or no fat crust, nobody's going to want to eat it. So. Alright, so what we're going to do here is incorporate this water in there as much as possible. And we're going to get our hands in there and just, just try to break this all up into pieces. You know, it'd be better if that was like ice cold so it would break up easier, but we're going to get there. We want this to end up looking like a sand or something, you know, not, not a fine flour when we're done. We want it to be nice and coarse. All those little fat pockets will be in your dough or in your dumplings and everything when they're cooking will be delicious. So. Well, you got some big news at Earth Burger. I'm sure you guys have heard about it already. We're, we've got three stores. We're gonna, we've got one store right now, of course, the original Earth Burger, but here in the next few months we're going to be opening up in Minnesota. Just got back from Minnesota and the Mall of America. It's beautiful up there. They kind of courted us whenever it was... July in Minnesota was gorgeous and then went up again last week it was 16 degrees with a cold wind blowing on you but it was beautiful still people there are awesome they're just like Texans man real nice real hosp hospitable um, anyway we're, so we're doing that we're also opening up in San Marcos which is my old stomping grounds in Texas State and uh, we're really excited about that and we've got another store opening in San Antonio so big things are happening at Earth Burger added uh, some uh, coconut milk in here and we don't want to overwork this dough if you overwork it you end up with uh, with something that's uh, gonna be uh, like a stiff bread we're looking for a loose biscuit so we're not overworking this dough you know the more you work a bread the more you get uh, the more gluten you develop in it so yeah, this is not good TV here <laughs> all right let me go wash up there all right so we're getting here on our soup and it's got a nice little boil there what we're going to be doing is dropping in some dumplings that'll also serve to thicken up the that'll also serve to thicken up the stew a little bit too, so. When these things float to the top, we're going to be turning this off. You can see them right here starting to float a little bit there. This is comfort food to me, man. You don't want to go stirring this like crazy or anything. Just <laughs> you can kind of move them around a little bit to separate the dumplings. But you can already see some nice dumplings forming there. And it already starts to thicken up the broth a little bit too. Simmer. We're just going to let that sit. Cook those dumplings. You can also roll them out too if you want and cut them and drop them in there. This is works fine. We're going to let that sit. sit. They'll finish cooking there. I've already turned off my uh, chicken pot pie here. And you might want to check your seasoning in the last minute. I just checked it. It's all good. Alright. 
And then what we're going to do here is we're going to roll out and make a little crust with the same dough that we made our dumplings with. We're going to make a crust that's going to go on top of our chicken pot pie. Put a little bit more of that flour down. Bring that out. Fold it a couple times. Get a little bit of that layered effect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get this, our oven's still going over here at 375. We're going to get that in there in the oven. It's going to need to go about 15 minutes, 15 to 20. You want to make sure that dough is cooked all the way through. We'll pull it out and check it out. And we, meanwhile, we've got, our, so we've got our gravy over here ready to rock. Our dumplings are nice in the pot. Got some big ones in there. The chicken going. Got us a nice hearty winter meal. We'll show you what the chicken pot pie looks like in just a minute. Let's get a little scoop out of there and see how it looks. Generous amount of crust. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken pot pie. Enjoy. I don't know how to make small portions of anything. <laughs> 